fucking days and your band days and stuff like that, right? All your your shit. My brother, our old drummer, found shit from 1994. Wow. And it's fucking, if you could roll that one, my brother's getting a, a shitload of it. He was handed a shitload of VHS tapes. And Took you long enough. I know, right? <laughs> VHS. Word of a century. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, this is something that was put together. It's, it's uh, The song is uh, the Beatles' I Want to Be Your Man, but it was a, a rendition we had done that was uh, punky. Um, funky. You really guys funk, were like early Chili funk, Peppers funky, kind of vibe, yeah, right? exactly. Uplift so Mofo that, Party Plan. And they threw a bunch of clips together from uh, a gig that we did. Uh, yeah. Much younger days. It was... Uh, <laughs> You're frozen. <laughs> the play. <laughs> Look at this shit. Yeah. Oxy Music Hall. August 31st, 1984. Hanging. Video quality was so shit back then. It was crazy, right? What is that, a hazmat suit? Yeah, we were hanging. We were literally three feet off the ground. Oh. Hanging by our necks. And then I had the big fro. <laughs> you got a guitar? No, I sang. And then Mosh Pits, all the rage. And it was, uh, they get up on stage. Yes, yes. It was, I'm looking like I am going to get fucking cold cut. <laughs> oh, of course, we got to have explosions. <laughs> it was very big. <laughs> Yeah, we're hanging. So what do you got, like a body brace that's taken the weight? We had the noose go around our feet, and we were hanging, and then had a piece of Velcro with a noose around the neck so it looked like you were hanging. And then we were able to drop out of those suits because it was a painter's suit. And the rest of the show on the... On the oh, floor. some ska. Yeah, yeah, a little ska. We added everything into this. Right, Brother Joe. Full head of hair and 1,000 pounds or less. <laughs> I had little highway cones on my uh, chest with ears in them, and I would uncap them and the audience. My Donna tits. Dude, we were exactly the same band. That's so weird. <laughs> it's fucked up, right? <laughs> I'm listening to this song, Diarrhea, to the tune of Tequila, and it's very healthy for young men to get out there and mosh and punch each other. Of course. And they don't, I hope they still do it somewhere, but... It was dan 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 diarrhea, and that was just the song. But I'd look out of the audience, and they were like, "Diarrhea!" Like they were so happy to be out, so into it, getting their fucking yayas out that I was scared because I'd they'd almost rip the mic and my hand off, like diarrhea. I was saying when I would do that, that we would do the the bit where I would have the little they were little miniature highway cones tits and I would shove beers in there and the caps would fit perfectly and I'd have it strapped on and I would lean over the audience and and uncap them and guys would be like yeah they're yeah. grabbing at them uh, oh. uh. they wanted to drink and I'm like drink from Madonna's tits <laughs> <laughs> We, if you look up anal Chinook foreskin, <laughs> Chinook, C-H-I-N, I almost got circumcised because I cut my foreskin from fucking a chick too hard. Holy uh, shit! And some Arab doctor was like, you need to cut it. It's it's like jeans. If you rip your jeans and you sew it up, it just rips again. <laughs> I was like, I don't trust you, Arab. So he was an Irish um, guy? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he had a little... Yeah, a little green bowler hat on. <laughs> I, I noticed the brogue. <laughs> so I just exercised wow. it in the bath, and then we made a song called Foreskin, where we made a foam penis, and it gets ripped off, and uh, we throw the foreskin into the crowd. <laughs> and uh, Of course. And people were delirious with That's excitement. That's hilarious. Yeah, you were doing the same thing. It was the same thing. You were doing thing. the same thing. <laughs> And then, what's his name, who married Drew Barrymore? Tom, oh, Tom, Tom Green. Green. He came along with his band Organized Rhyme and just ripped, up, ripped us off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He did, like, rap jokes where there was rap, they like, wore ski boots on their heads and stuff. That was the era back then. And people, it was, it really, oh my God. Look at the same shit quality. Same shit quality. It's, same, it's the same shit, man. <laughs> 
<laughs> we were doing the same thing. This was 91. <laughs> this is when the band was getting too good. We started out with Ramon's things, like da 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 da, pubic lice. And then they were like, ding dong ding ding. Yeah, yeah. Na, na, yeah. Ding da dong dong. You got the drummers adding breaks in. Yeah, and I've got to write these elaborate lyrics. And there's four breakdowns in the song. This was like the end of the band, really, because they were getting too good. But if you if you go forward, you can see the penis. <laughs> Dude, this is hilarious. Yeah, there it is. That's the penis. Oh my god. So <laughs> gotta take the foreskin off. The unclipped penis. Yes. So then he says you sold your cock for punk rock and he bites my foreskin off because he's the wizard. <laughs> and you, you know what's funny about this particular show? I think the audience was like, oh, as we flailed around the stage, pulling all our muscles. Yeah, yeah. You're fucking giving it your all. Yeah. Drenched in sweat. the same guys we were. This is the same thing. Just desperate to make this <laughs> thing catch. Please, please, somebody say we're awesome and take me out of my working life. <laughs> Buy the t-shirt. Yes. Take us on the Warped Tour, anything, please. And you'd believe everything, like, yeah, no, I think there's a A and R guy in the audience tonight, and we're oh, gonna. Oh shit! We better you know, fucking get there gonna early. Sign us, and it's gonna be, dude. Remember after certain jam sessions, it would be you'd be done, jang, and you'd look at each other and go, dude, we're Led Zeppelin. Yeah, yeah, like, <laughs> that, that was, was fucking fucking awesome, unbelievable, the greatest. How are we not getting signed? I mean, I just went to another planet. That was so good. Uh, you give us the tapes. We go to the record company, get the deal. We'll come back and give you your money. <laughs> feel, 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 feel my heat. But then I think about Led Zeppelin, and when they were doing, like, Immigrant Song or something, mm. they must have been done in the little shitty East London practice space and went, holy fucking shit. <laughs> yeah. They had like to. if us losers thought we were making gold, they must have yeah. just been just jizzing them. Yeah, their shit was like fucking like, yeah. da -da 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 black dog and, and or, <laughs> or that song. Uh, been a long time since I rock and roll. I think John Bonham was frustrated that he couldn't get it. So then he was just to let off steam. He did Little Richards like yeah yeah yeah. And then they're like okay. And then Robert Plant was like um been a long time since I've rock and rolled or whatever. Yeah, there he goes. And they're like, yeah, I don't think this is good. Yeah, why don't we just not do this song anymore? <laughs> Surely there was one of them going, I think we might be gods. Yeah, this could be the greatest <laughs> music ever played. <laughs> I think that was literally a perfect song. <laughs> Everyone on Earth will know Everyone this song. On Earth. You could play that to a fucking worm in Africa. <laughs> they will know it. And it would just it. be with his little tentacles and be like, they will know this, this fucking, fucking song. Jam.